Where'd you get those, man? I can't shake the feeling that he's being abused in some way. What the hell are you doing? Calm down, mate. I'm a doctor from Shorten Street Hospital. I just I was dropping off some medication for your kid. Where is it then? Inside. He gave it to me a few minutes ago. So what are you hanging around here for then? Clear off! Keep your voice down, Keith. Someone have an accident. Hey? Was someone trying to get out? Toby, get inside. I wouldn't treat an animal the way you treat that boy. What are you talking about? I'm not blind. The kid was starving when he came into hospital. He gets fed? Yeah? You chuck him a few scraps every now and then, do you? Toby, I said get inside. You do realise it's illegal to keep a boy that age at home by himself? Let alone lock him up. Hey, Go on, stop it. Help. Toby, the doctor wants to ask you a question. Go on. He wants to know if we lock you up when we go out. That's it, isn't it? Tell him. Tell him. He's got his own bedroom with no lock on the door either. I'll show you if you want. I think you better. He's not going to take our word for it. It's OK. I believe you. Yeah, we might be hard up. But we haven't sunk that low. And we don't need no fancy pants doctor coming round here. OK, I'm leaving. Wait, what's your boss's name? Don't worry, one phone call should do it. I'll find out. Oh, I wasn't sure if you'd still be here. Well, by rights, I shouldn't be. I should be on my way to a squash game with your husband. I know. I was trying to push him out the door when he picked up the phone to cancel. And now you're here to take his place. Excellent. <laughs> He was right into it when we made the booking. Has um, something happened? What did he tell you? Well, nothing. He just left a message on my voicemail. Not really in the mood. Now you know how I feel. I hope you're not here for marriage guidance, because believe me, that is not my field. Scotty's brother, Ty, got beaten up in prison today. Some all-out brawl. Scotty's still waiting on the details, but when he heard... He won't say, but I think he feels like he's failed him. Wayward brothers. Now that is my speciality. That's kind of what I was thinking. <laughs> what would you like me to do? Drag him onto the squash court, get him talking. No, anything's better than what I've managed to get out of him. <laughs> That's a bit flash. Not really. I did them on the computer in the nurse's station. You'll get into trouble. I don't care if I do. It's worth it. What's wrong? I had just hoped that by the time the dinner came around, we'd be celebrating your new lease on life. Well, we can celebrate the fact that I'm around at all, assuming I make it that far. Don't talk like that, please. I hope you're not feeling guilty, because that's the last thing I need. You did your best. We just have to accept that it wasn't meant to be. That's not fair. It doesn't matter. Don't you try and tell me that it's a thought that counts. Well, isn't it? You don't know what it's been like for me to have someone like you around. I'm not giving up. And neither are you. There'll be another donor. There will be or there won't be. Me lying around here fretting is not going to change anything. I'd rather spend my energy where I can actually have some influence. You know there's a typo here, don't you? Hey, how did you go? Shh. Oh, hi, Laura. It's uh, Kip Denton. Look, you're not going to like me very much for stepping on your toes, but I had a hunch about the Baker kid. I tried to talk to his parents, and some uh, pretty strong words may have been exchanged. They're not very happy with me. So, um, yeah, if you could give me a call back, that'd be great. What did you do? Pardon? That sounded like you groveling to a social worker for trying to do a job for her, am I right? With good reason, I'm sure. Yeah, I don't know anymore. Well, what were these strong words that were exchanged? I pretty much accused them of child abuse. Oh, you wouldn't do that without hard evidence, would you? There must have been something. There was. 
There was a broken window with dried blood on it. I looked through it and there was all this old bedding and get this, a cage. What kind of cage? The kind you put a dog in. Or your cat if you twist it enough. Exactly. And that's what you accused them of? Yeah, I get it, I shouldn't have done it. Well, they could probably have you for trespass or whatever other damage there was to the property, let alone complaints to the hospital. All right, Trace, you're really helping. What are you going to do? I've got half a mind to go back around there, try and get a proper look. I wonder if they see you coming. Hey, um, where was the kid's jersey? Mm, I put it in lost property. OK, well, um, that's a good enough reason as any to go around there, right? I would leave it to SIFS if I were you. That would be protocol. Just... No, don't rock the boat, yeah? The kid's fallen through the cracks once already. What if it happens again? What do you want me to say? Protocol be damned? <sighs> Looks good. Should be a good night. I wonder if Verity will live to see it. Well, I hope so. Mm, hope might not be enough. Maya, I know you wanted to help her, but you were doing it for all the wrong reasons. Who cares what my reasons are? It was going to save Verity's life. It's not about me. Sure about that? At least if she dies, I'll know that I tried. How are you two going to feel knowing that you did everything to try and stop me? Pretty stink, actually. Doesn't mean we weren't right. I think I'll do this somewhere else. I thought you'd want to know there might be another donor. Really? Through Organ Donation New Zealand. I, um, I wrote down the contact details. Thank you. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up, eh? Why not? With all the good karma on Verity's side, it's got to start working for her sooner or later. One game, that's your lot. Seems a waste. We've got the court for as long as we wanted. We agreed. One game. <laughs> Thought this was supposed to be a friendly match. It is. But I will be adding the scores to the club tables. Wake up! Be better off playing with Harry. will be here any minute. You really want to add assault to the list of charges? He's listening to him. Shut your face. See what he's like? Is there any wonder that I try to keep the kid away from him? By locking him up. Because <laughs> we can't control him. I've tried. Keep the two to start with. The day he went for Michelle, that's when I locked him up. He shouldn't be my bloody problem. Where's his father? Hey, where's the last time we saw child support? He's the one you should be hunting down. You don't know what it's been like. You reckon? I see families struggling every day, but I've never seen anything like this before. Come on, Toby. You want to come with me and your brother? Stay where you are. You're not taking him. Aren't I? I'm sure as hell not leaving him here with you two.
one game, he said. Now look at him. You were so miserable when I won. Thought I'd give you a fighting chance. Let. Whose face were you imagining when you landed that one? You all right, mate? You seem a bit down. It's just been one of those days. I heard about what happened to your brother. From who? Does it matter? It does if Shanti's been discussing my private life behind my back. She's worried about you. Can you just serve the ball, please? I didn't realise I was here for a counselling session. Yes! Throwing your racket isn't going to help. You're the expert, are you? Hello. Remember Guy? My brother? You don't even live in the same world. Are you comfortable? Just let me know if you're not, okay? That's what I'm here for. Can you open the window? The cat. Your cat's fine. Mm. He's being looked after, I promise. Mm. You just rest. I'm gonna go and get the house surgeon to come and take a look at you, okay? Mm. It's okay, Verity. I'll be right back. I don't feel so good. Verity. 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 Stay with me. Come on. Verity. That was quick. I was at the nurse's station. What happened? I just got her all. She lost consciousness. I can't feel a pulse. Draw up adrenaline. BT, are we ready? Clear. 360. Clear. Uh, kia ora, Malcolm. Looks like you've damaged your right kidney and your left one's already damaged. They should put warning labels on those damn pee pipes. Right, you're going to need hemodialysis and we're going to operate to try and save this one. If that doesn't do the trick, you could be looking at long-term dialysis and a transplant, you understand? I'm not thick. I hope you're not in a rush to get back to work. He is work, believe me. Good to go, thanks, Tracy. Hey, nice work, mate. Huh. I wasn't supposed to keep it quiet, was I? It's too good a story. <laughs> the whole place knew as soon as she was off the phone. On you, mate. Uh, this is the real hero. Toby, my man. Hello, I'm Alice. This is Mitch, but uh, you won't get much out of him. So what are we looking for? Uh, anything consistent with physical abuse. I'd uh, run full bloods for any infections or signs of malnutrition and a toxicology screen. Mm. Uh, you take Toby. Sure. Hey, nothing to be scared of, mate. Alice is here. I can give you a bit of a checkup. Make sure you're okay. You guys will be fine. Poor wee beggar, I'd hate to think what state he'd be in if his brother wasn't taking him food through the broken window. That's how he got the uh, cuts on his arm. Whoa. What about Mitch? Any medical history? Well, they kept going on about uncontrollable behaviour, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had undiagnosed ADHD. But, um, yeah, his parents wouldn't have a clue. And when was the last time he saw a doctor? How? Oh, when was the last time he saw the light of day? Callum. Yeah, thought it might be. In my office, soon as he's free! This is Malcolm. He's nibbled my mouth and has two units of blood awaiting transfusion. He's scheduled for theatre tonight. Stab wound victim from the prison. Right. Won't be a moment. Uh, linen's just being changed on the bed. I've been waiting for bloody hours already. It only feels like it. How long am I going to have to wait for a new kidney? Let's just focus on saving the remaining one, eh? The surgeon will talk you through what's needed once he's had a look at the damage. Yeah, I just hope he's better than the quacks I'm usually stuck with inside. Dr. Warner will be operating. He's the best in the country, so you'll be in safe hands. Well, we could use him down the road. This is a scratch compared to some of those other boys. Still, some of us are lucky enough to get the top surgeon's five-star treatment. He's all yours. Time of death, 17.04. Tanya, will you talk to the family? Of course. Thank you. What is she doing? She died. Cardiac arrest brought on by liver failure. Very unfortunate. What are you doing? Maya, I'm so sorry. Gabrielle was here within seconds. There's nothing else we can do. No, no, no. And no, she called it too soon. You know what she's like. Maya, there's no point 
Don't listen to them, Verity. You're strong. I know you are. My Get own. out of my way! That is an order! Maya, please! Come on, Verity, this time. Maya, just... But she's dead! Stop it! <sighs> I've read Mitch Baker's medical report. He's ADHD. I thought as much. Hmm. Good job getting those two boys out. Any parent here will tell you that. Hmm. I sense a but. <laughs> Shall I tell you what the legal department thought of your bravado? Uh, huh? Trespassing, breaking and entering, child abduction. Is there any law you didn't break? Never mind the internal protocols and SIFs. I appreciate the good work they do and the social worker was right. Toby wasn't at risk as much as I thought. It was Mitch that needed her help, but the problem was she didn't even know he was at the house. The bakers had told her that he was living with his father. It was by pure chance that I sussed him. And you went charging in. Wrong every which way. What if the parents want to lay charges, Kip? What if they're talking to their lawyers right now? Let them. If they want to take it to court, they'll get what they deserve. I did the right thing. Kip, you are head of ED. When are you going to start acting like it? Are you forgetting who I trained under? <laughs> Craig Valentine was a brilliant doctor. He was also brilliant at getting a bee in his bonnet and throwing the rule book out the window. Now, if you want to be the next HOD to get this hospital in the headlines, go right ahead. But don't expect a job waiting for you. Do you hear me? Loud and clear. Pull your head in and follow protocol. At least read the book. That would be a good start. She finally calmed down when Kelly came back with an orderly, but we still had to pull her off the bed. Oh, my God. Oh, I know, I didn't know what to do except make her a cup of tea. Oh, no. Well, it's cold. That means she's been gone for ages. Why did you leave her on her own? Who was I supposed to leave her with? If you had answered your phone I when I rang... busy. Too busy for your crazy sister. Don't call her that. Yeah, well, you didn't see her. Oh, she's not going to answer. Well, try it anyway and I'll call the flat. Oh, hi. Babysitter. Um, no, it's Libby, my sister. I was just wondering whether she was home. I realise she's supposed to be at work. So she hasn't popped home. OK, thanks. Bye. Where do we start? Cafeteria. OK, well, she's not there. We're going to have to split up. Well, and if she is, what do we do? Libby, I'm really worried. So am I. Who is this flesh doctor you keep telling me about? He'll be here. Now, can you file these at triage for me, please? Sure. I hope he's bringing a new kidney with him. Even if Dr. Warner decides you need a new kidney? It doesn't quite work that way, I'm afraid. We haven't exactly got donors queuing up at the door. And I wouldn't exactly be at the top of the list, would I? I don't think the people at the organ bank give a stuff one way or the other who you are or what your current address is. All they care about is matching you up with a compatible donor. Yeah, but they'll take their own sweet time about it, right? If that's what you want to believe, I'm running out of ways of explaining it to you. You don't think much of me, do you? I don't know you. That wouldn't stop you. I'm the type of scum you hate seeing messing up your nice, clean hospital sheets. Your words, not mine. Oh, you gutless... Yeah, OK. I believe you, you scum. You don't have to prove it to me. You want to talk about gutless? I'm not the one who stuffed up his body with pee and then ended up behind bars and then mangled his last kidney in a stupid brawl. But that wouldn't be your fault, would it? No. You've already picked one fight today, so now you're having another go. Anything to blame someone else for your crappy life. You make me sick. If it was up to me, you'd be left to rot. Scotty. What was that? The guy wound me up. It won't happen again. Do you live a mark? Hey. Principal Mackay. Uh, turns out they can't actually cane you for rescuing kids from abusive parents anymore. It was barely a smack on the hand. There's Mitch. Steph's found a place for him. He's on his way there already. Oh, how is he? Not great. He has rickets. Unbelievable. Did you get him talking? He barely even looked me in the eye. He's one very scared little kid. <sighs> his brother doesn't look too happy either. I'm with you, mate. I don't much like hospitals either. I want to see Mitch. You will, I promise. Alice tells me you found a house for them. That's brilliant. He's had one hell of a day. The sooner we get him out of here, the better. Well, he's free to go. Hey, that's meant to be good news. Uh, 
Laura just told him he won't be living with his brother. What? Matt has special needs. Finding a foster placement straight away was a small miracle. They can't take Toby as well? Can't or won't. Mitch will be a handful by himself. We want to see him. Where is he? It's all right, mate. Nothing to worry about. Oh, of course he's going to worry. He's the only bit of decent family that he's got. You're really not helping. I need a coffee. You want one? Listen, Toby. I wish I never found him. Oh, thank goodness. I found her. She's outside room two. What's the breakfast? I just didn't know where you got to. Your tea was just sitting there half finished. You know I never finish a cup of tea. Mum's always complaining about it. I thought you might have gone home. Why? No one would blame you, you know. I'm sure Scotty would give you some time off. Hey, you okay? Of course. Tanya just told me about Verity. I'm so sorry. Oh, thanks. Must have hit you really hard. Mm, it did, but I'm coping. My wait. wait. You were pretty out of it before. Look, I know Verity was your friend, but the way you behaved... I didn't come into it. It was my duty to try and resuscitate her. She'd already been pronounced dead. You knew that. Doctors make mistakes. If Gabrielle had just taken longer, then... Verity would have still died. And we know you're not ready to hear that, but we all know why you did... What do you mean, we all know why? Why you're obsessed with Verity? Everything you did for her was out of guilt, as if helping her was somehow going to wash all your sins away. What is she talking about? Okay, come on, this is us you're talking to. Okay. <laughs> this is crazy, excuse me. Mum. The murder. What murder? Who's been murdered? You know. <laughs> I haven't murdered anybody. <laughs> Call it what you like. You killed Ethan. <laughs> I'm a nurse. Nurses don't kill people. Okay, if you're practicing for the courtroom, you're gonna have to do a lot better than this. Shh, don't shush me. She's the one who's making crass jokes. I don't think she's joking. I have never heard anything so ridiculous. I murdered Ethan. As if there's no way in the world that I would ever kill someone. 